Welcome to Hello Baltimore County. I'm Ellen Kobler. As they say in the auto industry, it's not your father's library anymore. The Baltimore County Public Library is your high-tech source for learning and enjoying books and lots of other media opportunities. Erica Palmisano is here today to tell us what's new and exciting at your local library. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Ellen. I well, appreciate it. Yeah, well, I love the library. Tell us a little bit about um, the branches and what people should know. Sure. We have 19 branches throughout the county, so everyone in the county is pretty close to at least one of our branches. You can access the library, of course, by stopping into the branch, but also online, bcpl.info. Uh, once you walk into our branch, you'll see that we have so many things that you may not remember about the library, and we'll go through that in a second. But um, of course, first books, uh -huh. um, that's what we're built on. And uh, we still have the latest books. So if, if you're reading about a new and hot book in the newspaper, if you're watching television, uh -huh. um, we have it. We have books the minute they hit store shelves. We have, they have, they're on our library shelves. So don't think that uh, if, if there's a new hot James Patterson book that you're dying yeah. to read, that you have to run right to the store, you can come to the library and get it from us. And you can also reserve it, right? If it's, of um, course, you can go yeah. right online, sign into your account on bcpl.info. You can reserve the book in advance. You'll see with um, really big titles, people will start reserving them in advance. And um, you can get right in there and get your name on the list and have the library waiting have the library, um, have the book waiting on the shelf when you get there. Very nice. And yeah. so there's books that are still printed on paper, of but course. also it's all ebooks nowadays, yes, right? Yes, so there's ebooks. We have ebooks through our website. We have audiobooks. You can download them um, through Libby, and app on our website, or you can actually check out audiobooks from the branch, CD versions to listen to on your way to work, and oh, yeah. on vacations, and so on and so forth. We also have things called playaways, which are preloaded books. All you have to do is plug in some headphones, and uh, put them on, and you can listen to a book that way as well. Oh, very nice! And um, I have um, I've done the preloaded e-reader, oh, where yeah. it's um, it's loaded already. You don't have to download it with like a dozen different books oh, yeah. from the bestseller list. Yep. And I enjoyed that very much because there were books I hadn't thought of or might not have otherwise read, and right. it was really a neat selection. And it's also very very helpful for parents. I mm -hmm. get the uh, preloaded books for my kids for trips. Oh, wow. So it's really been handy, and they love it. All right. Now, the library is also a place to learn a new skill. Tell us about that. So we have many, many resources, as I mentioned before, through our website. Um, we call them databases. So we have something called lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A. And it's actually pretty expensive. It's a wonderful resource, and it's a way to learn a new skill. So you have. Um, accred accredited uh, courses there through um, industry leaders so you can learn oh, how to really? code, you can learn marketing um, skills, you can learn woodworking skills, you can learn so many different interesting and hot, if you will, skills through mm -hmm. lynda.com and it's free through through the library, through your library card. Oh, so it's free to the users? Absolutely. Okay. Completely free. All right, and speaking of new experiences, if somebody wants a passport? Oh, yep. Library, huh? Three of our branches are um, places you can go to get your passport. They accept library, uh, pardon me, they ex mm -hmm. accept passport applications on behalf of the Department of State. It's the Arbutus branch, the Towson branch, and the White Marsh branch. You can go in, you don't even need an appointment, have your photograph taken and have it submitted to the Department of State. It just really helps out um, on a busy weekend or a busy morning, you can go into the library yeah. and, and go through that entire process there. No doubt. And then if you're going to travel, you might want to learn the language, and you can do that at the library, too. Of course. That's yet another one of our free databases we have for our customers. We have Mango Languages. I think Mango has 72 different languages you can learn. Wow. And we have Rosetta Stone. There's a little bit more name recognition with Rosetta Stone, but they're uh -huh. both excellent databases. And they are full, immersive courses that are free with the library. So you can just, um, so you go to the library to take them, or you can do it no, from your computer? No, you do it right from your computer. So as soon as you get a library card, really what I'd recommend is uh -huh. you create an account where you sign in. Um, mm -hmm. And there are so many things you can do. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can download books. Um, but you can also um, download these databases and, and use these databases right from home, from your tablet, from your phone, from your desktop, from your laptop. You can really use it anywhere. Okay. And um, how about movies and um, TV shows? Sure. Um, another thing, again, as a parent, I'll say, uh -huh. um, car trips. We have portable DVD players. We stock up. You can go into the library and get the DVD of your choice, whether it be a documentary for yourself or your family, um, the latest um, hit movie, and then, of course, kids, kids uh, movies. So yeah. that's something that my friends and I and, and my colleagues, we, we stock up on movies for our kids, and they have all the Disney movies. They have 
every movie you want. Um, you also can catch up on a series. Yeah, the so TV shows, right. You can catch up on, I don't know, The Wire, uh -huh. um, if you've never watched that, or um, any of the, like, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yep, yep. Yeah. Downton Abbey, we have them uh -huh. all, so it's a great way if you want to binge watch for the weekend, you can binge watch a show. Um, via the library's uh, DVDs. So DVDs, and can you also um, stream that content? You as can. Well? We we have again free access to um, Canopy with a K K A N O P Y, uh -huh. and it's like Netflix. It's it's more artsy movies, more documentaries, but um, they have series as well, and it's just a great resource. It's a free resource if you want some entertainment for the weekend. All right, and sort of from more of the social perspective, um, a lot of people are, are loving book clubs nowadays. Yes. And I understand you have them at the library too. We do, and that's really why I have four of the same book here on this, <laughs> yes. on your desk. It's because uh -huh. we have uh, what are called book club kits. So you can go online and reserve a book club kit, anywhere between eight and 12 books. And you'll see, once you go on BCPL info and find our book club kits, that we have a ton of different um, suggestions for you. So not only will you get the books that you reserve, you can keep them out for six weeks. You can take them to your book club, give them to your book club um, members, and then it also comes with a folder where it comes with an author bio, a description of the book, and it comes with discussion points. So, oh, oh of course, and reviews. So it yeah. really um, not only supplies the books for six weeks, but it gives you discussion points. It's really like a book club in a bag. That's, that's great for busy people because I think for half of us, the actually getting to the library and getting the book is, is easily it's half true. the battle, right? Yep, and it even <laughs> comes in a tote bag. So you can just pick it up, carry it home, and you've got it for a while. Let's, um, let's talk about the library for kids. Okay. You know, the, they say that early literacy is absolutely critical for lifelong learning. What resources do you have for children? Oh, we have lots of resources for children. We believe the minute a child is born, you can start reading and talking to this child and, and developing their language skills. We have so many things for kids. We have programs. We have um, Storyville which we're very, very proud of, the Storyville. Um, we have two Storyville locations. They're early learning centers for children, ages zero to five. We have them at Rosedale, and we have them at um, yeah. Woodlawn. Uh -huh. So, and they're wonderful play spaces for kids where you can learn and engage and interact and really start developing I, their I've minds. I've been there, and I swear to you, it's sort of like a mini um, Disney World for it really kids. Is. But it's about it's about reading and learning, and there's there's um, like games and, and grocery store. We have a construction yeah. zone. We have a little nook upstairs where parents can read to their children. A dress up area, um, a kitchen. There's so many great little spaces where you can engage with your kid, and they're so bright and fun and they're really wonderful spaces. We highly recommend them. But then we also have programs for kids. We have, sto we have story times for babies, story times for toddlers. We have um, crafts, and, and we even have yoga for kids. So we really? have yeah, a huge variety of different programs for kids um, of all ages. All right. Well, reading is certainly for people of all ages. Of course. And the library sounds like it's got a lot going on. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Sure, and thank you for watching Hello Baltimore County. We encourage you to connect with Baltimore County government on all of our social media platforms.